Hello everyone. So let's get right into it, whatever the cards want to say. I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so this may or may not be your energy group. Only take it if it resonates. The High Priestess. The Six of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles. The Chariot. I feel like someone's going through some sort of psychic initiation or psychic awakening here. It's like you have victory, you have success. Six of Wands is about success, public recognition. And we have the High Priestess, which is about using your intuition. I feel like there's some kind of justice here. It's like you've been waiting for something to manifest and now it's finally coming in. And I think it's coming in because you're listening to your intuition, because you're following your intuition, you're going where you're guided to go. Tell me more about this. And you have the chariot too. So moving forward, two of pentacles. Tell me more about this. Seven of cups, page of pentacles. King of cups. Four of wands. Ten of Cups. Tell me more about this uh, King of Cups, Four of Wands, and Ten of Cups. Queen of Swords. Ace of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Tell me more about this. Someone's going to come in and they're going to try to play on your emotional side and you need to watch out for this. Because it's like, I feel like they're going to try to come in, but they're going to not give you a solid offer or a solid commitment. They know that you're emotional. They know that you're romantic. They know that you're the queen of cups. So it's almost like they're going to try to it's like they're trying to find a loophole. They're going to try to find a way to... It's like they're going to present an offer, but it's not actually a solid offer. It's like it's not actually a commitment. It's just like they might send you an emotional letter or they might say something like, I love you, I miss you, but there's no actual commitment there. This person is hoping that you get caught up, that you're in your Queen of Cups energy, this nostalgic energy, that you accept this. It's kind of it's kind of almost deceptive. I don't like the energy I get because it's very deceptive. Because it's like this, this person doesn't even want to be emotional. But above all else, they don't want to have to commit. They don't want to be accountable. They don't want to have to offer commitment. This person is very afraid to commit. And so... You know, I, I think that I think that they're gonna try to present some kind of emotional gesture, like a romantic gesture, a romantic offer, and they're hoping that you kind of lose yourself in this Queen or King of Cups energy, kind of like this, almost like this fantasy energy. Like they're gonna, you know, someone just sending you a drunk message out of nowhere, just saying, you know, I love you so much, I miss you, I just want to be in your life. But there's no, you're going to, when you get this message, you need to use your intuition. You need to use your discernment. You really need to use discernment because if you, okay, so if you engage with this person, you're going to notice there's no actual commitment there. They know that they have to come through with something intense, but there's no real commitment there. You know what I mean? So it's like the message is very emotional. And so they're hoping that you get caught up in your emotions and that you overlook the fact that they haven't actually offered you a commitment. Or if there's like a third party situation, they're hoping you overlook the fact that they haven't actually left the third party. It's like that kind of energy where it's like they really want you to get caught up. They want to get you caught up in your queen or king of cups energy. You know, it's like they kind of want to pull a blindfold over your eyes so that you don't look deeper and realize that there's no, yes, it's emotional and it's really good that they're finally expressing their emotions, but you still want a commitment, you know, so they're going to try to pull you in a little bit. But then when you actually talk about commitment, like let's say they, they message you and they're drunk and they're saying, I love you. I miss you. I messed up. I just want to come back into your life. 
and then you talk to them and you know you they're, they're just hoping like I said they're hoping that you'll lose them that you'll lose yourself in that emotion but I feel like if you talk to them and you're like okay like if you're logical and you're grounded if you balance your emotions and you know your intuition and your logical side I think it's going to catch them off guard because they really are expecting you to be uh kind of a, like your romantic side like they expect you to be kind of swept away by this message they want to send you but if you're really emotionally balanced and you say okay that's that's amazing like I, I love you too or I miss I miss you too so where are we going from here do you want to are we going to make this official do you want to commit to me uh, y- use your logic you know you can be a little bit emotional but you really need to ground yourself and use logic too you know say okay this is this is great but what are you going to show me in the physical like, I'm glad you're finally expressing your emotions. I'm really glad that you're finally telling me these things. This is a great step. But where are we going from here? Are you, you know, you got to ask those questions. Like, have you left the third party? Are you ready for a commitment? Do you want, are, are you ready to be with me then in that case? And watch, they're going to be caught off guard. They're going to have some excuse. They're going to, they're, they're not expecting that from you. They're not expecting that from you. Tell me more about this. Four of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. They're kind of hoping, too, that they can just sweep things under the rug. Like, they're holding on to you, and they do want to fight for this, but they're also hoping that... They're thinking if they come forward with a message, and if they're emotional and open enough... They think that you'll just easily forgive and just move things from rough waters to calmer waters. Like, okay, everything's good. And that's not going to be the case. You know, you're, you're still, you're still going to be using your logical side. Even if you are emotionally open with them, I mean, you might reciprocate. You might say, that's, you might say I missed you too. I really love you too. Like, you might reciprocate those emotions. But like I said, you're still going to be asking questions like, okay, this is great. So you know, are you ready to be with me? Are you committing to me? Like, what are we, what are we doing next? They're trying to, yeah, they're trying to find a way. They're trying to find, think of something they can say or do to get you to kind of just forget whatever, if there was cheating in the past or putting, like having you as an option, taking you for granted, wanting to have their cake and eat it too, wanting to play the field, just not treating you well, neglecting you. They're trying to find some loophole to get you to just kind of pretend that that didn't happen and just kind of move past it. They don't want to have to, um, I almost get like an anxiety from them about having to have a, a conversation about what they've done because I feel like there's something that they've done and I think that they know, like I feel like there's something that happened, like it was like cheating or it was, um, What is this energy that I'm channeling? I just get like a deer and like I see this person and I'm, I'm picturing like that like deer and headlights kind of energy. Like just like anxiety. Like they're they're really afraid of, of being called out by you. They're really afraid of being put on the spot. Because I think that there's something that they did. For some it was cheating. For some it was something else. But they did something to betray you in the past. And I feel like deep down, they kind of know that you intuitively know. For some, they might know, like maybe like one of your mutual friends saw it happen and they're worried that that mutual friend told you about it or just maybe they had a dream about it, but they just have some intuitive hunch that you know whatever this betrayal was. But it's it's almost like they, how do I explain this energy? It's like they're afraid of getting caught up in a lie. They don't, it's like they kind of want to lie about it and sweep it under the rug. But they're afraid that if you know for sure, like if you find, if you know for sure that that happened, then they're like, it's kind of like they're lost. They're like, what do I do? Do I, do I, um, like, let's say it's cheating and they have some intuitive nudge that you know that they cheated. They're kind of in their head about that if they have a face to face conversation with you because they're like, well, if, if I had, what if, what if, what if he or she doesn't know that I cheated and then I admit to it? And what if, what if they leave? What if they don't forgive me for that and I'm just screwed and that's it? Or, you know, it could go the other, they're, they're thinking, or it could go the other way. What if they do know? And what if, it's like, what if you test them? What if you, 
What if you pretend like you don't know they cheated and you just kind of test them and then they get caught lying to you? Then they're kind of screwed. It's kind of like lose-lose, like they're screwed either way. So they're kind of like wondering, they're like, do I just be honest about what I did in the past or do I lie to you about what I did? Tell me more about this. It's still a very manipulative energy. This person needs, if they're going to come forward, they need to come correct. This is, mm -mm. nope. Justice, Two of Cups, the Emperor. You have justice on your side, so whoever you end up with is going to be an emperor or an empress. So the emperor is like all four kings or empress is all four queens combined. It's, you know, the king, king or queen of pentacles, of swords, of wands, of cups. It's someone who's just the entire package. Like this is the most masculine figure in the deck. Same with the Empress. She's the most feminine figure in the deck. You have divine justice on your side. So whoever you end up with, whether it's this person or somebody new, they're going to be the Emperor. I mean, they're going to have to step into a role as the Emperor. Like, your spirit guides want you to have this. So they're either, they're, you know, they might be working with this person to help them step into this energy. But if they don't, they're going to bring someone in that is in this energy. Have any of you guys, because we've been doing love, like new love readings, have any of you guys met the new person yet? I feel like that's very, that's in your energy field where it's coming up very soon. So I'm, I'm just curious, like, have you guys met the new person in the last like month or two? I think they know this too. I kind of feel like they know, they know that playing small isn't an option anymore. They know that you're going to be with an emperor type. They know that you're not going to settle for less than an emperor type. You're not going to settle for cheating. You're not going to settle for cowardice. You're not going to settle for games. You're not going to settle for, you know, any of the, the stuff you settled for before. It's just not, you're not doing it. They know that they have to come forward as an emperor if they want you. Tell me more about the situation. Four of Cups, Ace of Wands, Page of Wands. There's something here about sex. Tell me what what's going on with the, like what are you telling me about sex here? Give me a second, guys. Judgment. For some, they either already have or they're going to try to come in sexually. They're going to try to, and you're going to reject that. It's like they're going to try to come in. They're going to try to, like, up their, their game in bed pretty much. For, that's just for someone out there. And you're, you're letting the burden go. You're like, no, I'm making a judgment call. That's sneaky behavior. I'm not going to. Mm -mm. Or it's like they want to get you addicted to them sexually or something like that. It's kind of what I'm feeling. Tell me more about this. Yeah, because you have really good karma. You're you're either an emperor or an empress. Like, you are ending old cycles. You have money, love, abundance coming in. You are getting in touch with your sensual, creative side, your power. Why the Three of Swords? Yeah, it's been heartbreaking for you because you've had to stand your ground and really build. You worked hard to get here, basically. This didn't happen overnight. This was a long time coming. Tell me more about the situation. Ace of Pentacles, the devil. Why the devil? Hmm. Okay, this person is, again, I, I think it's kind of just reiterating what we already got. This person is in like a contemplative mode right now because they know that they're losing you. They feel that. They know that either you're dating somebody else or you're at least open to dating somebody else if you're not already. They know that you're not waiting anymore and they don't like that. They know that you're, you're using your intuition. 
I feel like they're in this almost like a meditative mind where they're going around in circles in their head and thinking about like, how do I, how do I manage not to lose this person? What do I do to get this person back? And, you know, you're going to get some kind of offer, but it's like an, it, it's kind of giving me like a not all that glitters is gold kind of energy because they're just not wanting to lose you. It's like, are they really changing because they love you and they want to treat you well and they genuinely want you to be happy? Or is it still the same selfish motives, the same selfish behaviors as the past where it's like it's just all about them? They just don't want to, they just don't want to be sad. They just don't want to be alone. Like, does it really have to do with you? Are they really realizing the error of their ways and thinking like, hey, this person deserves more. This person deserves commitment and mutual love and attention and affection. I want to be the one to give them that. Or are they just, you know, coming in at the last minute because it's like they, they don't want to, their, their pride is wounded. They don't want to be alone. You know, because you're not, you're not anyone's old reliable. You're the entire package. As the empress or the emperor, you are the entire package. And you want somebody who sees that, whether it's this person or somebody else. So, yeah, I do see them coming in with an offer, but it's like there's something hidden about this offer where it's it's not – they're going to try to present it. It's, it's like they're, they're – it's very mis manipulative energy because it's like they're trying to – um. They're trying to choose the right words. They're really thinking about how to come in. They're trying to choose the right words because it's kind of like what I was saying where they're going to try to get you caught up in your emotions. You know, there's devil energy here where it's like this This offer seems on the surface, it seems like, oh, maybe, maybe this is commitment. Maybe this is going somewhere. But trust me, if you have a conversation with this king of wands, like when they come in in this emotional open way, because I think, I think they expect you, like I said, I think they expect you to be kind of like shocked and surprised that like, wow, they're finally being emotional. And they expect that because they know that you're passionate. So they expect that you're going to get lost in that energy, basically, you know, and that you're going to overlook things that they did in the past. And you're going to overlook and, uh, you know, needing to have a deep conversation about things that they've done. They're hoping that they can just kind of sweep it under the rug like, oh, I've changed. I love you. Let's let's move forward. But yeah, honestly, if you talk to them. And like I said, if you say like, okay, well, did you cut the third party out? Are you, are you ready for commitment? Are you, let's, let's change our relationship status on social media. Then they're going to panic and they're going to come up with some reason. It's, it's still the same shit. They're going to come up with some reason why they're not ready to be with you. Why they're not ready to let the third party go. Why they're not ready to this. Why they're not ready to that. It's just the same old story. It's, it's a tired played out story. It's the same shit, honestly, from what I'm feeling. Yeah, because it's like there's devil energy tied to this offer. It's not, it looks like a real solid commitment offer, but, but but if you really dig deep and you have this conversation and you really call this person out and you have like a an honest conversation with this person, you're gonna you're gonna see that this isn't actually a commitment. They're trying to disguise it and make it look like, or they they might even try to make it look or make it seem like they're eventually gonna commit. They might there's some kind of illusion here, and you need to be mindful of that. They might even try to word it like, let's say they're with a third party. They might say, oh, well, like we're living together and like I need to save some money before I can leave. Or, you know, I, I don't want to leave because of the kids, but I'm, I'm going to leave. You just just bear with me. Give me a few months. I'm going to they're, they're trying to get you comfortable again. They're trying to get you. You're 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 not you might still love this person. Like, I'm sure you might still love this person, but you don't believe in them anymore. You don't trust them anymore. Even if you still have love for them, even if you get sad over it once in a while, I think that when you get sad, you remind yourself of how they treated you and you remind yourself that they always just do the same shit over and over and over again. Um, and so even if you have love for them, even if, you know, some part of you still desires to be with them, you 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 kind of see that they're not really doing much to, to actually genuinely change and treat you better. Um, and they, they know that. They know that you're following your intuition. They know that you're going down another path. Some of you are moving. Some of you are meeting new people. They know that you're not they they tried to put you on a shelf and keep you on hold and you took yourself off you said fuck this and you took yourself off that shelf and you said no i am the entire package i am not going to be on that shelf i am not going to be put on hold i am going to live my life i'm going to if you don't want to commit to me that's fine i'm going to go meet new people then who do want to commit to me 
Like you're you're not you're not on that shelf anymore. And this person doesn't seem like they're genuinely trying to you know, go forward and live their life with you and, and be in a genuine commitment with you, they're trying to put you back on that shelf. And they're trying to create this illusion so that you can't see that they're trying to put you back on that shelf. Make sense? And I really appreciate your comments. Even just leaving a heart comment, it really helps me get back in the YouTube algorithm. So I thank you guys for that. Um, and I love hearing your stories too. It's really nice hearing from you guys. I appreciate the support and liking the videos. Thank you guys so much for that. But anyway, yeah, yeah. It's like some kind of deception illusion. You need to watch out for this. Oh, what I was saying, sorry. Sometimes when I channel, I get on a tangent. What I was saying about this Ace of Pentacles, this devil, it, it's like this fake kind of, like it looks like commitment, but it's not. So it might be like one of those energies where it's like they say, you know, I'm going to leave the third party, but I got to figure out finances first. Or, you know, the kids are involved, so I can't leave just yet. Or, um, you know, I'm going to offer commitment to you, but I think I need to go, you know, I, th I think I need to do this or that first. Or I think I need to get, they're going to come up with some reason that they can't commit to you. Trust me. Trust me. When you have this conversation, try it. Try it. Try it when they come in. Be like, okay, let's do this right now then. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Change you. You want me so bad. You love me. Change your relationship status right now. We're together now. Watch them. They're going to panic like a deer in headlights. They are going to panic and they are going to come up with every excuse they can to not commit to you and to put you back on that shelf. So, so yeah, be mindful of that. They're going to, they're, they're going to try to, they're going to try to buy themselves time. Cause I just, I keep hearing them say something about like, oh, I need a few months or a few weeks. Like I need to, I need to do this, or I need to, I need to do that, or I need to better myself before I'm ready for commitment. But, but I really, um, you know, I really do love you. I really do see us together in the future, but I'm just not ready quite yet. A few weeks comes by, they might say a few weeks and a few weeks comes by, trust me, they're going to be like, oh, not ready just yet either. Just give me a few weeks. Um, you know, my health is better, but now I need to work on finances. Finances get better. They're going to come up with a new excuse. They're going to drag it on as long as you allow. This person would drag it on for years and never give you the commitment, never give you a solid relationship or a solid engagement. They will drag it on as long as you allow them to drag it on. Trust me, there will be no no end, no limit. They're trying to buy themselves time so that they can get you to, even if you love them, you're you're probably not as deeply in love as you were, or you're you're not open to those energies as much because you don't trust it. You don't trust them. You don't feel safe with them. You don't feel like they really have your best interest in heart. That you you kind of know this person's selfish, you know. King of Wands can be very, very passionate, but he's also, he can be also very in and out. So yeah, they're going to try to buy themselves time so that they can get you to, they see you as overly emotional. And so they're going to try to get you to tune back into that energy so that they can have control over you again, is what I'm feeling. So it's it's like, yeah, like a few weeks go by and they're, yeah, just excuse after excuse. And they're, they're going to try to get back in that emotional energy. That way they know that they can get away with doing whatever they want. Because it's like they, they're going to try to slowly, it's just very manipulative energy. They're going to try to slowly, it's kind of like, um you know, what is that? What is that quote about like frogs and boiling water? I think it's frogs. I was going to say, is it turtles? No, that doesn't make sense. It's fro It's frogs. If you, if you put like, I think it's a frog in boiling water and you turn the heat up all the way, they're going to jump right out. But if you slowly, slowly turn the heat up, you know, you know, over what, an hour or so, the frog will die and it will be too exhausted to jump out. It won't even know that it's slowly being cooked to death because it just adapts to the temperature. You are that frog, honestly. This is what that person's trying to do to you. You are that frog that's in that water. They they want, again, they want you back on the shelf. They want you, right? They want control over you. They want to be able to cheat on you and come in and out as much as they want. They want to be able to have their cake and eat it too. I think it's a pride thing for them too. I mean, I do think they have, I do think there's love here, but I also think it's a pride thing where it's like, maybe this king of wands is attractive and he or she is used to people chasing them. And so the fact that you're not chasing them, the fact that you're like, like, fuck this, I don't deserve this. Like, I don't care how much I love you. I don't care if you're who you are to me. I don't care how much I love you. I'm not doing this to myself anymore. 
it's like their their ego is wounded their pride is is hurt because of this so yeah it's like they're thinking it's like they're trying to get you back on that shelf they're thinking of any way they can it's like they're going to try to manipulate again they're not, they can't just put you back on it it's like that frog they can't they can't just throw you back on that shelf they know it's not going to be that easy they're going to try to slowly seduce you slowly manipulate you slowly get you back into your emotional energy so that they can put you back on that shelf and you before you even know it you're you're waiting for them again like you don't even know what hit you you know what i mean like one minute they're sending you these emotional messages a couple months later you're you're back to chasing them. You're back to crying over them all the time. You're back to, they, they have the upper hand. So you got to be smart and you got to, you got to protect yourself and be logical here. And again, if you really love this person, you can, like I said, you can say, okay, let's, I'm not saying that you have to reject them. I'm just saying that you can, you know, like I said, say, okay, let's, you want a commitment? Let's do it. Let's be in a relationship right now and watch their, I can almost guarantee you they're going to say no. They're going to, they're, they're gonna they're gonna find a reason not to. Yeah, because you're not waiting anymore. They know you're not waiting. You're a king or queen of swords now. You're not waiting for shit. Yeah, very, very tricky energy here. You need to be, to be mindful of this. Yeah, so just watch out. Um contemplate too when you get this message when you get this message go into hermit mode and make a choice don't just don't be hasty don't be hasty be logical be grounded be a king or queen of pentacles type get proof too i would say if they if they do say hey i end things with the third party be like i don't know like just prove it because the thing is like if they if they really end things with the third party then there should be no reason and they really if they really want you like they say they do there's no reason for them not to update their relationship status on social media or to be public with you you know what i mean that's that's when you know they're sneaky because some of them might actually try to say like oh i made a choice like i ended things with them but you know, they're still going to try to hide you. Like they're, it, you know what I mean? Like if you talk to this third party, the third party is going to be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like we've been together this whole time or we're still talking or, you know what I mean? Like they're playing both sides. So you really need to be logical. Like if this person does say that they ended it with a third party, be like, okay, prove it. Or, or okay, be with me on, you know, be with, be public with me then. We're the third party and everybody else can see us. You know, and if, if no one's, you know, I'll, I'll believe you then. But but yeah, you need to be logical here. You need to be grounded. Anyway, I'm going to put this out. I hope this resonates with you guys.